Hey, I'm Dominique and I'm currently at my employee health clinic because your girl got the job. I had two interviews back in October and I accepted a position as a full-time generalist to work all departments of the lab. I'm taking you guys with me to kind of show you what the process is like. We're here in Atlanta to get a health screen done today. They told me to allocate four hours of my day, so here we go. <laughs> So I got a lot of paperwork done to make sure that I have all my immunizations and everything. They pulled my medical records to see all my immunizations and the last time I did everything. And I had to show proof of my COVID shot card. And they did a full physical exam to make sure that I'm capable of doing my job. Mainly because I have asthma, but I mean, it's not going to affect the duties of the job. So if I do need to be fitted for N95, I'm going to have to come back. But they were saying that since I'm not going to be around patients or nothing, they're probably not going to go ahead and do it. I'm hungry now, though, so let's get some food. And y'all already know I'm about to go get me some barbecue chicken. So, see y'all in a minute. <laughs> okay, so I ended up coming home and making my own barbecue chicken. But I did get my blood drawn for TB. And I think they're going to do hepatitis B um, testing, too. And if those do come back positive, then I have to get a chest x-ray and clearance by the public health department. Which I don't think they'll come back positive. But that's just a step someone has to take if it does come up off it. And then we went over immunizations and I had to show proof of my flu and COVID vaccine. My flu don't count anyway because I got to get another one for this season. But what I like about the, the blood draw is that I don't have to go back <laughs> to the health clinic anymore. Get like a, a skin test, the PPD for the skin. So just to explain the timeline of things, I accepted my full-time position in October. And on that same day, I had 48 hours to do disclosures and a bunch of paperwork and a background check as well as a drug screen. For the drug screen, the hospital gave me a reference code or something to give to lab for in order for them to collect my specimen for the drug screen. So they take my urine and run a panel test just to make sure I'm not on like any drugs that would hinder me from doing the job, which basically involves collecting a clean catch, but it's a little different in order to make sure that someone isn't cheating. So I had to leave all of my belongings in the exam room. They gave me a cup, <laughs> told me to pee a little bit, and then catch the urine up until a certain amount. I could not flush the toilet and I could not run any water in the sink. So once I was bringing that specimen back to them, they go through chain of custody to take the urine after I signed like waivers and stuff to give them permission to do so. And then they finally let me wash my hands and I got my stuff and I got up out of there. The one thing they told me is like, basically if you do anything out of what they tell you, you fail the drug test automatically and could potentially have to do it over again or even lose that job contingency. So they ain't playing. The background check included like a check to make sure I'm not a criminal and I had no charges against me, but also like the personal information that I provide to the hospital could then be verified to make sure everything I was telling them was true on an interview and on my resume and application and stuff. Um, so that included my last several addresses, my degrees, my previous jobs, which my current job has three different titles. So I did get a flag on my background check saying that I, I supplied them with the wrong information about the job title, but literally the job titles were synonymous and they mean the same thing. But I mean, it didn't mean anything for me in my pre-boarding process. They didn't, no one even mentioned it. But I guess check with your HR if you have a current or past job, just to make sure that what you are putting on your resume matches what they are paying you to do. <laughs> Which should be a given, but honestly, I've had background checks multiple times since I've been working this job and I've never been flagged. And I've been working there for over two years. So it just happened to be whatever background check company they was using this time. You know, they mainly just want to make sure that the company you said you work for also acknowledges that you have worked for them. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. It didn't cost me anything for the background check or the drug screen. And then kind of like, I'll backtrack to the interview. Like I've had plenty of interviews in my time, but I definitely say that these interviews that I had for the laboratory hit different. Like they were virtual. And I've never done a virtual interview before, but of course, because of COVID, it's just safer practices nowadays. But I mean, it wasn't that bad. It's really just seeing if you're a fit with this specific lab. And based on some of the things that may be said, you can also determine if that place is really for you or not. Maybe I could do a video about interviewing in the future, but just in case you missed the vlog, for the job that I accepted, I had a panel style interview with the lab director who oversees the lab as well as the supervisors who will be overseeing me and the pathology department. So it was pretty nerve wracking. <laughs> 
but hopefully hopefully i made the right decision for future me and i really do hope that i can gain a lot of the experience that i need to go forward with my future career choices as of right now i am supposed to start in a week <laughs> well in like 10 days um there are still some things that are up in the air at the time of filming this video and um, now they are letting me work with the contingency that i will get certified you know as soon as possible they called me literally yesterday to tell me yeah you can still start on the 13th but now we rushing to get shit done because the 13th is 10 days away and i have so much pre onboarding stuff that needs to get done within a really tight time frame now so it's just been a lot of back and forth with dates and stuff but again it's like one step at a time i literally finished classes yesterday but i don't officially graduate until december 16th i'm so excited to continue to bring you guys along in my journey as a new grad especially to see what the new hire process is like in a medical laboratory i still don't know what to expect going into this job you know being able to share that with you guys might give insight to what it's like as a new grad for anybody that is looking into medical laboratory school <coughs> or is a student getting ready to graduate or something like that thanks for watching i really really appreciate you all don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to keep up with my lab journey as a new grad